We've done it. Three or so hours later. Yeah, about three hours, right? Three hours later. <laughs> I took probably at most 30 steps. The rest of it was in a wheelchair. I was saying this is probably the easiest Umrah I've ever done. I've been sitting in the um wheelchair throughout the whole Umrah. But ankle is like that at the moment. But Alhamdulillah, the guy said it's no fractures or nothing. But it's just bandaged up. So yeah, Shalina pushed and pushed. And she allowed everyone to make dua for her. She doesn't get it or nothing. Her hands and everything's aching. But yeah, she carried me throughout the whole thing. But Alhamdulillah, we've done it. Cut the hair and everything out of her arm now. So yeah, Alhamdulillah. Nothing. Nothing. I'm good. <laughs> I'm feel a lot better today. Actually eating some food. How? I'm going all in. I'm going all in. This is just there. Cover view is over there. They're doing so much construction at the moment you can't see it, so we're just sitting here where there's mm. a little bit more comfortable seats. My wheelchair kid dressed over there. This, this is King Fahad gate there, you can't go in with a wheelchair, so the guy told us level 6, I don't know what that means, but anyway, that's, that's one of the most expensive hotels, I don't know where, um, this is a new section, we're trying to gonna go in for the new section now, see what that's about, so basically for wheelchair accesses, there's only a few gates, not all gates take wheelchair accesses, so you've got to be, I'm finding out how the disability part of do it being in Mecca is like, but yeah, that's the new section over there. We're gonna try going in through there, see how it goes. Section right here, it's pretty sick, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, Haram, Haram. Where are we? This is the new section, go right. Okay. No, no. This is a new section of the thing. It's it's literally absolutely gorgeous. And it's an easier way, I think. It's a bit of a trek getting to this section, but personally, I think it's an easier way to get to the ground floor right next to the Kaaba, which is over there. The Kaaba should be right over there. Well, sorry, my finger. Kaaba should be right over there. It's a much easier section. You could let go. I could just go down with the downhill. Go on, let go. There. You want to park it up here? There's, yeah, I don't mind. I'll stay here. There's some some there. Women's section of praying and stuff usually is more back there, but from here, the view of the Kaaba is just through there. You should be able to see it. So yeah. Oh, it's already recording, but the Kaaba should be right through there. Well, you should be able to see the Kaaba all the way from the back there. This new section. You can see it's the new section because there's nobody here. Everyone's sleeping. And it doesn't even get full up, nobody even uses it really much, but from you should be able to see the Kaaba all the way from the end out there. And there's Zum Zum there, Mrs. is getting the Zum Zum bottles ready for us. Do you help? There's the Kaaba, look. You see between there, the black part.
Tesla. They are literally accommodating this place for millions of people. Tens of millions of people. They've got two, three floors. This section is nice because they've got Zum Zum everywhere. Yeah. You know when, when you see some of this stuff, you really see how fortunate we are as, as us. Like, you know, you see the, so that's a huge line over there. It goes all the way down. It went all the way down there because someone was giving away burgers and stuff, food. And everybody was lining up like mad for the burgers. Like these burgers here that these brothers got from there. No, they're, they're doing a little iftar. I don't know what they're doing. They're feeding people there. They're, so that's all these people are lined up for food. Just for food. And we just eat whatever we want, whenever we want. We've got the most luxurious places there, and then you have people literally sitting there eating leaves. Some people were eating leaves, some people were eating like date with bread, dates with just bread, that's plain bread. And then you have the most luxury there, that's mad, the way things are. People just sleeping out here, some people sharing whatever little they have eating leaves for dinner come on I've never been hard these days, very helpful though the guy is not telling me what I should order recommendations that is can you really see it though? I think I have a superstar there right? <laughs> it's really empty here yeah usually it's not what is it called here? Oh, you can't really see that Arabic, but it's hard, deep, or something. Can I ask you a question? What do you think of the service of the space? Most of the service, most places are absolutely horrendous. No, but McDonald's was okay. Yeah, some places, but most of these places, do. but you know what, the, I'll be honest, they don't get nice people to serve at the first place, so they're going to actually get it. It's like if you get out of a thousand customers and a hundred of them turn out to be not nice people, you're going to, you know, you're going to be in a foul mood anyway. So these guys get it hard as well. But how do you think? How much did I pay? Greenberg and 68, that's 60, so yeah. Hardy's review. 68 uh, reals is, is 15 pounds roughly I paid for two burger meals. That's loaded prices there. <laughs> loaded <laughs> Yeah. Loaded in Ilford. And, and everyone's in a bad mood so anyway. anyway, it is what it is. This is the superstar burger double cheeseburger bam big burger for a big man she got a little chicken fillet usual stuff six of this just did My foot. But we have finished our. Uh, we have finished our tawaf. Day two of being in Mecca. We finished our tawaf. Mrs. pushed me along with the wheelchair. But inshallah tomorrow, I'm just trying to rest for this today. What well, the doctor said, rest today. Even though I want to walk, I'm not allowed to walk at the moment. So I could be on my feet tomorrow. So inshallah tomorrow, I'll be on my feet. And I can do this. Now everyone looks down on me for some reason. But anyway, just here looking at this view. Look at that. Oh, 
when I'm on my feet, I'm gonna read all of my salahs right in front of there. Inshallah. Can you massage it a little bit? Let's press it or something. 12 a.m. What a view. Let's stop. I'm not going to show the actual room because it's in a mess, but this is the view from the room. Let's take a look down there. That's the prayer room of the Fairmont, which is absolutely breathtaking. We were at a minute ago, a little while ago. And that's... Right, the, that's Haram view, partly Haram. Tomorrow we're gonna get a different room, Kaaba with the Kaaba, inshallah. So now we can see the Kaaba with, but yeah. Absolutely beautiful. These guys got a good room though. Oh, these lot, especially this, these lot. There's always someone there chilling. You can see the car was straight direct, but the problem is they're doing works. They're always doing works, so it blocks a lot of the view. But yeah, look at all that people. And this people, it's Friday, so people are sleeping. All these people, they're just sleeping. They just come to do their Umrah or whatever. They're just sleeping around here. Come to do their Umrah, pray Jummah. And we're up here. I'll videotape the room tomorrow. <laughs>